Hi kids, welcome back to Sunday School at Red House Baptist Church. So in our Bible story today, it happened after Jesus met Mary and after he walked with the two men on the road. And in our Bible story today, Jesus asked the disciples to meet him somewhere because he had something very special that he wanted them to do. So you remember Miss Gina was working on the pom-poms and I had two letters here. The letters were G-O. And G-O, that is the word go. And that word is a very important word for our Bible story today. And I also want you to look at what I have here in front of me. What do all these have in common, these things on my table? These are all things that we may use to go. We may ride in a car to go to school. We may ride in a dump truck because that's how we go to work and what we ride for work. Or we may go by riding an airplane or flying in a helicopter or even going in a boat. So friends, let's grab our Bibles today. We are going to turn to Matthew chapter 28. Matthew is the very first book in the New Testament, so it's very easy to find. We're going to turn to Matthew 28, and we are going to learn about Jesus and the disciples and this important word, go. Have you got your Bibles, kids? Great, so Matthew 28 is where our Bible story is from today. So let's listen to how Jesus said, go. The disciples had traveled the Galilee because that's what Jesus had told them to do. He told them to go and he would meet them on a mountain. So you see that here, friends, right here in our Bible story picture? So Jesus had told them to go and he would meet them there at the mountain because he had a very important message to give to them. When the disciples saw Jesus, the first thing they did, friends, was they worshiped him. Jesus told them to go to other places all over the world. They were to go to villages and cities nearby and cities far away. What do you think Jesus wanted them to do there, friends? We're going to find out. Jesus told the disciples to tell other people all the things that they had learned about Jesus. He told them to baptize people just like he had been baptized. Jesus wanted the disciples to help others become followers of Jesus. Jesus told the disciples that they would not ever be alone because Jesus would be with him always. And that's right here in God's word, friend. Jesus promised the disciples that he would be with them always. And in God's word, he promises us that he will be with us always too, just like the disciples. So friends, in our story today, how exciting. Jesus gave the disciples a very important command. That means he told them to do something. Do you remember the word from the very beginning of our Bible story today at the beginning of the Bible story video? G-O. That's what Jesus told the disciples to do. He told them to go. Jesus wants us to go to and tell others about him. He wants us to tell others about him and he promised us that he would be with us no matter where we go. So I have a puzzle here that I've worked in Sunday School Friends. It has all the world on it. So I want us to look, and I've also got some little people here. So what I want us to do is I want us to put some of our people 
going and telling others about Jesus. So I've got this little friend right here, and I'm going to put him right here. Do you know where this is, friends? This is the United States of America, and that's where we live. So we can tell people about Jesus right where we live. Whether it's at school or whether it's at the playground, we can tell people about Jesus right here in Richmond, Kentucky. So friends, I am going to put another friend right here. Do you know where that is? That's Mexico. And we send a mission team down to Mexico sometimes, and they work with a church in Mexico to help tell others about Jesus. Let's put another friend right here. Do you think Jesus would want us to go there and tell others about him? Sure he would. This person is in Africa and they are telling others about Jesus. Do you know in Africa that people don't speak the same language we do? So I bet this person is having to learn a different language to tell others about Jesus. What about this friend? <clears throat> Let's put this friend up here. Do you know where that is, friends? That is Russia. Do you think Jesus would want us to go there? That's what the Bible tells us to do. That's what Jesus gave us his word and told us to go and tell others. So I bet Jesus, yes, would want us to go to Russia and tell others about Jesus. So from our Bible story today, friends, remember, Jesus said, go. And Miss Gina is going to ask you a question. Will you go? Kids, you know what time it is. It is time for the verse of the week. I'm so excited, but I don't see anything here. So how are we going to know the verse of the week? Well, we're going to do something pretty special to learn our verse of the week, which is 1 John 4, 9. Now I can see our Bible verse, kids. So we've got our painting finished. Can you see our Bible verse faintly through those colors? So remember, our Bible verse today comes from 1 John 4, 9. And that Bible verse tells us God sent his son, Jesus. 1 John 4, 9. So that comes from the New Testament, goes right along with our Bible story today. God sent his son, Jesus. 1 John 4, 9. We're going to be making a megaphone in Sunday school today. Do you know what a megaphone is? A megaphone is something that makes our voice louder. Now, I wonder from our Sunday school lesson today why we would want to make our voice a little louder. I think maybe we would want to make our voice a little louder so we could do exactly what Jesus told the disciples to do, to go tell others about Jesus. So let's make our megaphones. What Miss Gina has here is I have some styrofoam cups, I have some pipe cleaners, I have some stickers and crayons and glue, things to decorate our megaphone. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a styrofoam cup and we are going to punch the bottom out of our styrofoam cup. And this is something that mom and dad might help you do if you have some safety scissors, you can cut the bottom out of the cup. Or sometimes you can just punch the bottom out of the cup. So Miss Gina is using my safety scissors and kind of gently taking the bottom out of my cup. I can see you kids. 
All right, we have the bottom out of our cup now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make my megaphone holder with my pipe cleaner. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke a small hole on both sides of my megaphone to attach my pipe cleaner. And again, this is something that you might need mom and dad to help you with. And then what Ms. Gina is going to do is I'm going to stick my little pipe cleaner right inside of my megaphone and kind of bend it up a little bit. Then I'm going to the other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then bend it up a little bit on the inside, okay? So there's our megaphone holder. So when we are going to tell others about Jesus, we've got a little handle for our megaphone. See if you can see me, hear me louder now. Kids, can you hear me? Hey, that does make it louder, doesn't it? How about we try our Bible verse through our megaphone? God sent his son, Jesus. 1 John 4, 9. Did you hear me louder, kids? I think I was quite a bit louder with my megaphone. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of our stickers and our markers and our Bible verse, and we're gonna decorate our megaphone so it looks pretty when we are going to tell others about Jesus. So I've got some stickers here. I've got this one that says, I love God. So I'm gonna put that on there. Oh, and I've got a little boy and a little girl, and I'm gonna put them on there too. All right, I see them on here. You like that, kids? And then I think I might write our Bible verse on here. I'm gonna write, God sent, I'm gonna use different colors. All right. His son, Jesus. You see that, kids? All right, let's try out our megaphone again. Let's do what Jesus told the disciples to do. Jesus said, Go. I heard that good. All right, let's try our Bible verse. God sent his son, Jesus. 1 John 4, 9. Great job, kids, on your megaphones. I'm at Red House Baptist Church for Sunday School. Come on in, kids, and see the fun things that Miss Sheila and Miss Pat have planned for you Sunday at 9.15. So remember, this week is Jesus Said Go, and looks like they have some super fun activities planned for each of you guys. So come and join us at 9.15 on Sunday for Sunday School with Miss Pat and Miss Sheila in the Orange Room. This week, Jesus told the disciples to go and tell people about Jesus. So kids, I want you to take just a second and think about someone this week that you can tell about Jesus. So let's go ahead and close in a word of prayer, and I want you to be thinking about this person while we pray, okay? Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come to Sunday School today. We thank you that we can learn about what you would have us to do. Dear Lord, we just pray that you help us go and tell others about Jesus this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, kids, I hope you enjoyed our Sunday School lesson, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. And remember, go and tell others about Jesus.